Come on in. So here's our patient. Miss Mary. <laughs> this is Mary, I know. The IBC Nursing Pipeline Program is an initiative between Temple University and the Independence Blue Cross Foundation. And the main reason for this program was to increase the diversity of students that enter the nursing program, but also to ensure that those students enter the workforce of the North Philadelphia area so that the patient in the hospital can have nurses that look like them. We know we have great nurses, but we know that patients also relate better to somebody who sound like them and look like them. Did you lose any weight recently? Yeah, which I don't understand because I've been eating a lot of ice cream. What about your eyesight? We're teaching them about all of those aspects of nursing, give them a little taste of what it is, some of the things that we cover, we go over the blood pressure, screenings, vital signs. We also talk about mental health, some of the disease processes, which are chronic conditions, too, in the black community, so that they themselves can be aware of that and also help educate their parents and those that they live with. And then we give them a chance to go into the hospital and shadow a nurse. So they get to see, is nursing for me? A little glimpse into the life of a nurse. But we also have them sit and meet with nurses of color that look like them so that they can talk to them about their journey and they can ask questions and realize that, yeah, I can do this too. There are plenty of nurses who have gone on to become doctors, if that's what you want. But you could also go on and become a DNP and still practice as a doctor, because I'm a doc DNP, I'm a doctor in nursing practice. I'm a nurse practitioner with my doctorate. If I chose neuroscience as a field that I wanted to go with, I would connect myself with a neurosurgeon or um, a neurosurgery nurse, if that's what I wanted to do. But if you want to do surgery as a DNP, I can't do that and you wouldn't be able to do that. You'd be able to take care of them post-surgery, but you wouldn't be able to do the surgery. So, you drop it out. Easiest way to remember is bunny ears. Thumb goes here, fingers go here, just like that. Put it in the nostril, either one, and press. Once you press, it discharges instantly. It's a one-shot deal. Time, thumb goes here, fingers go here. You can do the same nostril, the other nostril hit it. Do a time check again. If and when this person does wake up, you want to have that conversation with them. Honestly, it's been really amazing. I've like experienced a lot of new things. Even the opportunity for us to, you know, sit there and shadow nurses and like see what goes on as a, you know, day in the life as a nurse was really interesting and mind blowing because there's so much myths and like this little false perceptions of what nurses are. But having the opportunity to see what their capability is and seeing what they actually do was just astonishing. I love nursing here at Temple and so any opportunity that I can get to actually be a part of students in high school transitioning because I had a hard transition coming in and so I'm really glad that they started this program because now the students have a better idea of what they're getting themselves into coming into college and I wanted to be like a mentor and some type of guide to help them so if they had any questions like I could be a part of that transition. <laughs> It just made me this, like, helped me decide my decision even more and made me even want to become a nurse even more and helped me realize how much I really want this career of uh, we've learned. Um, we're going to get training in CPR, we learned how to take blood pressure, everything like that. It was just a great experience and I think everyone that gets to become to experience that in the program would enjoy it. It's really fulfilling to see like the next generation of nurses that'll be like coming up, especially at a time where there's such a nursing shortage. It's really important to like get people who may have not considered healthcare or may not have considered nursing or people who did consider nursing and that was like their first choice but like now the program has really like bolstered that choice and helped like make them feel like they made the right decision. What else? What other symptoms? She had upset stomach, really tired and thirsty and no, not after she had any other symptoms. She said she had blurry, blurry vision, mm -hmm. and, uh, she had shortness of breath and nausea. I always knew I wanted to be in the medical field but I don't know which field in the medical field I wanted to do but coming to this program it opened my eyes. I wanted to do, I wanted to nursing.